All right, Shalom. Uh, first off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kudash. Uh, double honors to our apostles and elders of GMS and to the elect doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Uh, my name is Nazar Khad. This is GMS Precepts. Uh, real quick, I want to go into this article here. Um, this is from RT, as you can see. It says Iran denies offering bounties to ta Taliban fighters. It says U.S. spreading propaganda to cover up catastrophic presence in Afghanistan Now we know they've been at, in, in Afghanistan for at least 20 years now um, they went into Afghanistan after 9-11 uh, I believe in 2001 uh, and um, ironically um, the poppy production <clears throat> in that area rose to a thousand percent and that as a <coughs> as a result <coughs> excuse me as a result you had a lot of opiate related r related deaths here in America, so that's that's by no coincidence, man. But that's a <coughs> that's a separate video. <clears throat> but the point of the video is what America is back at it again. They're back at it again as far as spreading that that those lies uh, to uh, lie to the people or to make the people okay with them going to war, because that's eventually what they want to do. Uh, eventually, they want to go into Iran. And um and and kick off that war, <clears throat> okay? Um, so they're saying, so what they do is they do they uh paint the other nation that they want to take over as the bad guy, as 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 the devil himself, okay? This is this is also part of Esau's weapon, okay? His lies, okay? Um, matter of fact, since I said that, let me get Psalms. I believe it's. Psalms, I'm sorry, I believe it's Psalms, the, ten, the Psalms, the 10th chapter, um, <clears throat> I mean, I can get this too, his mouth, this is Psalms 10 and 7, his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud, under his tongues is mischief and vanity, okay, but I didn't want this, I actually wanted Psalms 52, Okay, but that's true. It says his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. There's no other nation. This is why they've earned the title uh, the, uh, of the devil. Okay? Because the word devil goes back to the word diablos, which, which means what? Deceiver. Okay? Esau uh, is the great deceiver. So this is actually what I wanted. This is Psalms 52 and 2. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor working deceitfully. Okay? All right, you see how how you know how the prophets you know through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai they 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 worded this, okay? They they compared Esau's mouth to razor, his lies like razors, okay? Uh, those thou lovest even more than good and lying rather than to speak righteousness, okay? This is why the scriptures speak about Esau, um, they're estranged from the womb. Okay, they're strange from the room. Ha Habakkuk, what's that? Habakkuk, the second chapter. What does it say? What does it say about Esau? Uh, it says, what is it? Yeah, here it is. Behold, so behold his soul. This is Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Okay? All right, so Esau has a, 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 a lying spirit on him. He, he, he lying so much he can't help himself. Right, so going back to this article here, and this is also I'm going into their lies, propaganda. Oh, also they made it. Excuse me, they made it legal. Um, to spread propaganda to the people, to push their agenda. Let's get that. Let me get that real quick. Hold on. Uh, the propaganda law. I believe. Probably 2013. Was it 20? Was it 2012 or 2013? Let me, let me go back here. 13. U.S. repeals propaganda ban. Obama. Let me see. 
U.S. repeals propaganda ban spreads government main news to America. For decades, so-called anti-propaganda law prevented the U.S. government's mammoth broadcasting, broadcasting arm from delivering programming to American audiences. Um, let me get that article that I saw. The U.S. government mammoth broadcasting arm has begun unleashing of thousands of hours per week of government-funded radio and TV programs for domestic uh, consumption. Okay, let me see if I can get that article that I saw. Give me one second. All right, here's the article here. All right, so this is uh, 2013. Uh, Obama legalized the use of propaganda in the U.S. public. Okay, so they pretty much what they made it they made it legal to um, um, spread propaganda to influence the people. First of all, let's look at the definition of the word propaganda. It says information, especially of a biased or misleading nature, used to promote or publicize a particular political point of view. Okay, so this is what they do. They use certain uh, lies, like "Oh, Iran has, um, uh, Iran is offering bounties to ta ta Taliban fighters to kill U.S. soldiers." So, to so when the American people see an article or a news clip like this, they're gonna say, "Oh, we we need to go over there and get Iran, man. This is this is not right." Okay, but you know, which is totally denied by uh, by Afghanistan. And and, and here it is. The matter of fact, it says it here. It says that's basically just a smokescreen because they've been there raising hell for the past twenty years. Okay, but this is what. This country does. They 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 create propaganda. They create laws. They write in their laws where they can legally lie to the people now um, um, to try because you know they know it's easier to get the backing of the people um, to to do their to to do their wickedness rather than the people be against them. Okay. In case you were wondering why there is so much fake news coming out of mainstream media over the last few years, the 2012 NDAA legalized the use of propaganda on U.S. public. January 2, 2013, Barack Obama signed and enacted into law H.R. 4310, also known as the Smith-Mund Modernization Act of 2012, which was part of the 2013 NDAA. A large, a, a large majority of concerned Americans were focused on the infinite detention of U.S. citizens without trial clause of same. All right, so I'll leave this in the description. Um, but it, it basically says they made it legal for them to create fake news, um, um, uh, false articles to sway the uh, pu to sway public opinion onto what they want them to believe in. Right? It says here, information, especially of a biased or misleading nature, used to promote or publicize a particular point of view a p political cause or point of view right so what they want to promote here is that iran is a big bad bully and we need to go over there and bomb the hell out of them and take them over okay so articles like this are supposed to justify that right but this is what the mo at the end of the day let me let me get this this is what the most high wants the most high wants war in the middle east let me end it with this scripture zephaniah the third chapter this is Zephaniah 3 and 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me. Let me go scroll that down. It says, Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I might that I may assemble, assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even on my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And how is the earth going to be devoured with the fire of his jealousy? Through those ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay? That's how this place, that's how this society, that's how Esau's kingdom is going to go down. It's going to go down by way of fire. It tells you that in Revelation. tells you that in Peter. It tells you that in Isaiah the 34th chapter. This kingdom, this, this uh, current kingdom... Uh, of Esau, of the Edomites, are going to be brought down by fire, okay? 
So there will be war in the Middle East. They will get what they ask for, which is them to go in there and start war, that war, that third world's war. All right, but it's going to be of the Most High. It's going to go according to what the Most High wants. All right, so like I said, I'll leave these two in the description. Lord willing, y'all brothers are edified. Until the next show, Shalom.